brachial plexus. The brachial plexus is a plexus, it is a network of or the group of a nerve which is found within the hand and which is mainly found at the neck, at the root of the neck and at the axillary area. They are very important for uh, giving nervation for a partly. So let us see about introduction of brachial plexus. The, bra the most nerve is partly paralyzed from the brachial plexus. So most of the nerves are they arise from brachial plexus giving nervation for upper lip. Abzanyu chu narboch ka brachial plexus eminas chu narboch upper limb when yela inyau jachinen nerve supply yargan. So there is a parts of brachial plexus trunk from trunk there is division there is coat and terminal branches. So those are the parts of brachial plexus foot which is starting from c5 up to t1 there is a start there is a root the root has uh, it starts from c5 or cervical vertebral 5 up to thoracic vertebral 1 that means it is a rise from spinal cord at the level of c5 up to at the level of t1 so we can get five roots, cervical vertebra C5, C6, C7, and C8. From these roots, we can get a trunk. There is a trunk, so we can get superior trunk, the middle trunk, and inferior trunk. So from we can we have roots, a mistruto chalu, C5 is jamru. Zadag more superior root, middle root, and inferior root. From the root, from the trunk, we can get a division. There is anterior division and posterior division. And other parts of brachial plexus are cords the lateral cord, posterior cord, and the middle cord. So we can get five cords lateral posterior and medial cord from the cord we can get the terminal branches of brachial plexuses like median nerve ulnar nerve axillary nerve and musculocutaneous nerves those nerves are the main nerves of brachial plexus so let us see the roots of brachial plexus. The roots of brachial plexus they are starting from C5 up to T1. That means the brachial plexus, the root of brachial plexus, which is originated from at the level of C5 up to T1 or thoracic vertebral 1. Those are the root of brachial plexus originated. Trunks of brachial plexus, as I told you in the picture, there is superior trunk which is formed from the root of C5 and C6. But this, the C7 roots only give one medial trunk. The inferior trunk is formed from C8 and T1. So we can get superior trunk, middle trunk and inferior trunk so let's see superior trunk middle trunk inferior trunk blend karu to lie branch in my other go trunk the division of brachial plexus also it's the trunk also give anterior division and posterior divisions the anterior divisions of brachial plexus they give nervation for the anterior or flexor compartments of the upper limb. Generally, the anterior division of the brachial plexus trunk give innervation for the structure which is fine at the anterior compartment or flexor 
compartments of the upper lip. Posterior divisions of the trunk they supply the posterior or the extensor compartments of the upper lip. So the posterior division, posterior division uh, nerve innervation in misadot, posterior when the more extensor compartment men loan, yalut and the upper limb la yemiking structure to bamulu, supply yaragabu marisma. So the co the trunk also gives the terminal, I mean the cord, the we can get the lateral cord, the middle cord, and the posterior cord. So we can get three cords, the lateral cord, middle cord, and posterior cord that is formed from formed from the division of the trunk. The lateral cord is mainly formed from the anterior and the posterior division of I mean the anterior division of the superior trunk. The middle cord is formed from the anterior division of the middle trunk and the inferior trunk. But all all posterior divisions of the trunks give the posterior cords. Look this picture. <coughs> this is the root, the roots of brachial plexus, a root no. And the root of trunk For example, the superior trunk, they formed from C5 and C6. Superior trunk. C5 and C6 and etc. But the C7 brachial plexus give one trunk which is middle trunk. So let's see the middle trunk is only formed from C7. Middle trunk katala yurutu chetesaradalam kand single kona root yetesarana which is C7. But the inferior trunk is formed from C7 and two c7 and two generally the superior trunk and the inferior trunk they are formed from a combination of two roots two roots so those trunks they give anterior division and posterior division the anterior divisions this is the anterior division and this one is also anterior division and this is anterior division so those uh, this the green color is the posterior divisions so the trunk give division anterior division and posterior division with the mid ball of the five those anterior and posterior division they give Court, they give courts. For example, the lateral cord they are formed from the anterior division of the anterior division of superior trunk and the anterior division of middle trunk. This is the anterior division of superior trunk. This is the anterior division of middle trunk. And the posterior cord, the posterior cord, posterior cord, they are formed from the posterior division of all trunk. Posterior cord again. The whole chim trunk which ye me met on posterior, posterior division which bandle. So to chum ye trunk ye me met on posterior division which bandle. You know, ye form a meander good cord men lalan which is called posterior cord, posterior cord in Lola. But the anterior division of, the anterior division of middle trunk, they only give the medial cord. Look. And single yohona division and cord form yara gildena. The anterior cord, the anterior division of the inferior trunk, the anterior division of inferior trunk they give medial cord but the other cords are the other divisions they combine and give lateral cord medial cord and posterior cord let us see about uh, 
the division of uh, the, the the branch that arise from the cord. For example, the lateral cord they gives the terminal branches of musculocutaneous nerve, and there is the lateral head of the lateral cord they give the median nerve and the lateral cord they give also another branch which is called lateral pictorial nerve so they give three branches the lateral pictorial nerve the lateral pictorial nerve the lateral i mean the musculocutaneous nerve and the lateral head of the lateral cord the median nerve is combined from the two cords the lateral cord and the medial cord so the median nerve is formed from formed from the lateral head of the lateral cord and the medial cord of the lateral cord so the median nerve kahulet cord form yona na ka lateral cord yemi meta branch alle men enelawallen the lateral head of lateral cord and you have the median cord yemimeta ka medial cord yemimeta branch alle that is branch is called the medial head of medial cord so the median nerve ka and single cord form yon adelle ka hulet yetelayu cord uch form yon an but the axillary nerve the axillary nerve the posterior cord the posterior cord give different branches one axillary nerve the others radial nerve and and the post the axillary nerve and the radial nerve as well as the lower sub sub subscapular nerve thoracus dorsal nerve upper scapular nerve so the posterior cord has five branches the posterior cord has five branches one the axillary nerve and the radial nerve the superior upper scapular nerve ziga migenyu sostochu nerves malatno those are called upper scapular nerve thoracodorsal nerve lower scapular nerve those are branched from branched from posterior cords the medial cord the medial cord has branches the medial cord has branches the medial pictorial nerve the medial branches of cutaneous nerves of the arm the medial antibrachial cutaneous nerve of forearm and the ulnar nerves are branched from the medial cord the medial cord so we can get we can get four branches from the medial cord four branches one the medial medial pectoral nerve the medial brachial cutaneous nerve and the medial antibrachial nerves of the forearm and the fourth one is the ulnar nerve the largest in the longest nerve of that's branched from the medial cord there is also the branch which is originated from the root of the brachial plexus the root karutu lay yeminnasa yeminnasu nerves are the first one is long thoracic nerve this nerve is the long thoracic nerve you see this is a long thoracic nerve this nerve is originated from the three root of brachial plexus the c7 up to c c5 that means this long thoracic brachial nerve long thoracic nerve is originated from c5 up to c sub so karutu lay yeminnasa and nerve nagenyale the other nerve is dorsal scapular nerve dorsal scapular nerves this dorsal scapular nerve is originated only at the c5 c5 the other nerve which is originated from at the trunk trunk la yeminnesu nerve we can get 
two nerves that originated from the trunk. The trunk. They only originated from superior trunk. That is nerves of nerve to subclavians and suprascapular nerves. Those three two nerves, uh, the suprascapular nerve and nerve to subclavians are originated from superior trunk and they give innervation for different structures that find at the shoulder level. And at the root of C5, we can get one important nerve, which is called nerve pharnic nerve. This nerve is goes to the diaphragm and give innervation for diaphragmatic innervation for uh, the individual. The brachial plexus is the plexus which has starting from C5 up to C1 of the spinal cord level. Uh, the, the, this C5, C6, C7, C8, and C1 which has a sensory innervation to the upper limb and motor innervation for the upper limb. There is a dorsal root and the ventral roots, the ventral root and the dorsal roots. So those dorsal and ventral root give the root of the brachial plexus. So this uh, is a root of brachial plexus. There is a trunk, there is a division. There is a cord and the branch of a brachial plexus. So the root, trunk, division, cord, and branch is a compound of brachial plexus. Let us see the brachial plexus root. It starts from C5 up to T1 of the ventral root. C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1. And the root has the ventral ramus and the dorsal ramus. When we see the trunk, the trunk is originated from the root and the superior C5 and C6 give the superior or the upper trunk and the C8 and T1 give the lower trunk. The C7 only continue as the middle trunk. When we see the division, the trunk gives the anterior division and the posterior divisions. So the anterior division and the posterior divisions, the anterior division and posterior division, the anterior division and the posterior divisions are, they are divided from trunk. When you see the cord, the cord is formed from the divisions. So there is three cords. That is re relatively with the axillary artery. The axillary artery is a demarcation for to say the lateral cord, the medial cord, and the posterior cord. So the lateral cord is fine, the lateral to the axillary artery, the posterior cord is fine, posterior to the axillary artery. This is the axillary artery. So the lateral cord, the medial cord, and the posterior cord is. There is a cadaver. When you see the brachial plexus in the cadaver, there is a root. This is the root of the brachial plexus. The superior root is the root C5, C6, C7 up to T1. So this is C7, C6, C7, C8 and T1 in the cadaver. There's a vertebral near to the vertebral. So C5 and C6 they give upper trunk. C7 they give middle trunk. The C8 and T1 they give inferior trunk. So those trunks are uh, originated from the root. So this is a superior or the upper trunk. And there is a, a branch that is originated from the trunk, the suprascapular nerve. And those trunks, they give branches, different branches, and they give division, the anterior division, the posterior division from each trunk. So those trunks together, they give a different branch and divisions. So the divisions, they give cord. So let us see, this is a posterior cord. Uh, compared to the axillary artery, there is axillary artery anterior to the posterior cord, and the lateral cord is fine lateral to the axillary artery, and there is also the medial cord which is fine medial to the axillary artery. 
this is the cadaveric feature of brachial plexus. Oh.